Tamilakam refers to the geographical region inhabited by the ancient Tamil people. Tamilakam covered today's Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Puducherry, Lakshadweep and southern parts of Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. Traditional accounts and Tholkapiyam referred these territories as a single cultural area, where Tamil was the natural language and culture of all people. The ancient Tamil country was divided into kingdoms. The best known among them were the Cheras, Cholas, Pandians and Pallavas. During the Sangam period, Tamil culture began to spread outside Tamilakam. Ancient Tamil settlements were also found in Sri Lanka Sri Lankan Tamils and the Maldives <laughs> Topic. Etymology Tamilakam is a portmanteau of a word and suffix from the Tamil language, namely Tamil and Akam. It can be roughly translated as the homeland of the Tamils. According to Camille Zavelabil, the term seems to be the most ancient term used to designate Tamil territory in the Indian subcontinent. The Periplus of the Erythraean Sea, as well as Ptolemy writings, mention the term Limeric, which corresponds to the Malabar coast of southwestern India. Based on a misinterpretation of the Roman map Tabula Putingeriana and the possible phonetic connection between the words Demir and Tamil, some modern scholars have wrongly mentioned Limeric as Damarica or Damarice, considering it as a synonym of Tamilakam. The Damarice mentioned in the Tabula Putingeriana actually refers to an area between the Himalayas and the Ganges. Extent The term, Tamilakam, appears to be the most ancient term used for designating the Tamil territory. The earliest sources to mention it include Purananuru 168.18 and Padarupattu Patikam 2.5. The specific preface of the more ancient text Tolkapiyam mentions the terms Tamil Kuru Nal Lulakam, the beautiful world where Tamil is spoken. And Sentamil Nilam, the territory of refined Tamil. However, this preface, which is of uncertain date, is definitely a later addition to the original Tolkapiyam. According to the Tolkapiyam preface, the virtuous land in which Tamil is spoken as the mother tongue lies between the northern Venkata Hill and the southern Kumari. The Salapadikaram c. 5th 6th century CE defines the Tamilakam as follows. While these ancient texts do not clearly define the eastern and western boundaries of the Tamilakam, scholars assume that these boundaries were the seas, which may explain their omission from the ancient definition. The ancient Tamilakam thus included the present-day Kerala. However, it excluded the present-day Tamil-inhabited territory in the Jaffna Peninsula of Sri Lanka. <laughs> Subdivisions. Topic: Kingdoms. Approximately during the period between 350 BCE to 200 CE, Tamilakam was ruled by the three Tamil dynasties: the Chola dynasty, the Pandyan dynasty, Satyaputra dynasty, and the Shara dynasty. There were also a few independent chieftains, the Valiers. The earliest datable references to the Tamil kingdoms are in inscriptions from the 3rd century BCE during the time of the Maurya Empire. The Pandyan dynasty ruled parts of South India until the early 17th century. The heartland of the Pandyas was the fertile valley of the Vagai River. They initially ruled their country from Korkai, a seaport on the southernmost tip of the Indian peninsula, and in later times moved to Madurai. The Chola dynasty ruled from before the Sangam period 3rd century BCE until the 13th century in central Tamil Nadu. The heartland of the Cholas was the fertile valley of the Kaveri. The Shara dynasty ruled from before the Sangam period 3rd century until the 12th century over an area corresponding to modern-day western Tamil Nadu and Kerala. The Velars were minor dynastic kings and aristocratic chieftains in Tamilakam in the early historic period of South India. <laughs> Nadus of Tamilakam Tamilakam was divided into political regions called Paranadu or Great Country, Nadu, 
Means country, there were three important political regions which were Shara Nadu, Chola Nadu and Pandya Nadu. Along these three there were two more political regions of Adhyaman Nadu and Thamorabarani Nadu then Pandi which were later on absorbed into Shara Resp. Pandya Nadu by 3rd century BCE. Thandai Nadu which was under Chola Nadu, later emerged as independent Pallava Nadu by 6th century CE. Again Tamilakam were divided into twelve socio-geographical regions called Nadu or country. Each of this Nadu had their own dialect of Tamil. <laughs> Nadus outside Tamilakam Some other Nadus were also mentioned in Tamil literatures which weren't part of Tamilakam, but the countries traded with Tamils in ancient times. <laughs> Geocultural unity Although the area covered by the term, Tamilakam, was divided among multiple kingdoms, its occurrence in the ancient literature implies that the region's inhabitants shared a cultural or ethnic identity, or at least regarded themselves as distinct from their neighbors. The ancient Tamil inscriptions, ranging from 3rd or 2nd century BCE to 2nd or 3rd century CE, are also considered as linguistic evidence for distinguishing Tamilakam from the rest of South India. The ancient non-Tamil inscriptions, such as those of the northern kings Ashoka and Karavela, also allude to the distinct identity of the region. For example, Ashoka's inscriptions refer to the independent states lying beyond the southern boundary of his kingdom, and Karavdela's Hathagumpha inscription refers to the destruction of a confederacy of Tamil powers. However, the archaeological evidence does not support the existence of Tamilakam. As a distinct cultural region, the material culture and habitations discovered in present-day Tamil Nadu and Kerala are also found elsewhere in peninsular India and Sri Lanka. Cultural influence With the advent of the early historical period in South India and the ascent of the three Tamil kingdoms in South India in the 3rd century BCE, Tamil culture began to spread outside Tamilakam. In the 3rd century BCE, more Tamil settlers arrived in Sri Lanka. The Anakadai seal, dated to the 3rd century BCE, contains a bilingual inscription in Tamil Brahmi. Though Tamils have been living in Sri Lanka since the ancient era, at least with universally accepted dates of at least the 10th century BCE, showing signs of Tamil civilization in Sri Lanka excavations in the area of Tissamaharama in southern Sri Lanka have unearthed locally issued coins produced between the 2nd century BCE and the 2nd century CE, some of which carry local Tamil personal names written in early Tamil. Tamil letters, which suggest that local Tamil merchants were present and actively involved in trade along the southern coast of Sri Lanka by the late classical period. Around 237 BCE, two adventurers from southern India established the first Tamil rule at Sri Lanka. In 145 BCE Alara, a Chola general or prince known as Elalan took over the throne at Anuradhapura and ruled for 44 years. Dudagamunu, a Sinhalese, started a war against him, defeated him, and took over the throne. Tamil kings have been dated in Sri Lanka to at least the 3rd century BCE with great accuracy and older ones were being excavated through archaeological means before the civil war lead to widespread destruction of historically Tamil lands in Sri Lanka. Religion Hindus, Jains and Buddhists have coexisted in Tamil country for at least as early as the 2nd century BCE. See also History of Kerala History of Tamil Nadu Notes <laughs>